my name is Rachel Haney and this is my movie review project. So for my movie review, I chose to do the movie titled Me Before You. And this movie is like a romance slash drama film. Um, and the reason I chose this film was because I've heard a lot about the movie. I've never seen it, but I've heard a lot of people watching it. I've heard lots of good things and I thought it fit really well with the assignment. And so the plot of this film it starts off with the main character Will, and he is this like um, hotshot guy living like a great life, like all the awesome things, doing everything everyone wants to do, until one morning he walks into the street and he wasn't looking and he gets hit by a motorcycle, which leaves him paralyzed. He um, is paralyzed from the neck down, so he has no function of his legs and very little function in his hands, like only like his fingers he can use. Um, so because of this accident, he's like paralyzed and he's stuck in a chair. So this leaves him to be very angry and bitter. He's like very bitter to everyone, doesn't want to be around anyone, is just very unhappy. And then this is until his mom decides to hire him a new aid. And like her reasoning is kind of she just wants someone to make him happier and like want to live. And at first he doesn't um, want to talk to the new aide. Her name is Louisa. She's another main character. He's very um, standoffish with her and just annoyed by her the whole time. Um, but over time he starts to enjoy his time with her and open up to her a little bit more and more. Um, and they start being actually kind of friends. Um, that is until one day Louisa overhears Will's parents talking about um, how Will tried to kill himself a few months ago. and. After that, he will promise his parents that he would live for six more months just for them, but after that, he didn't want to live anymore. Um, this obviously crushed Louisa because they were beginning to be um, good friends and they got pretty close at this time. So his parents agreed for the six months because they thought over the six months they could figure out a way to change Will's mind. Um, but nobody really knew how and bringing in this aid was kind of their last ditch effort to make them happy. And after Louisa hears this news, she decides that Will needs to go out more and like experience the world instead of just sitting at home and just like moping. So she brings him to things like horse races and lots of stuff like that, and, like just being out and about. But what Louisa didn't know is that that being out in public made Will more sad because people saw him and looked at him weird and he just felt more disabled in the public eye. Um, but again, over time, he learned to get better at stuff like that and less uncomfortable and he kind of was doing these things more, I think, for Louisa because he started to like her and just wanted to spend time with her. Um, so then it's about six months. The six months is about up, so he is in, um, he's only got a few more weeks to live and Louisa decides to take him on a like beach vacation. Um, they do a bunch of fun stuff together and all that and she's really trying to like make him happy and make him change his mind and Will doesn't know at this point that she knows what his plan is. Um, and on this trip they end up kissing and expressing their like feelings for each other but Will decides to tell Lisa about his six months plan and that he says that he still wants to go through with that and again that crushes Lisa she thought that he had changed his mind hopefully. Um, but Will thinks that he doesn't want to live a life bound to a chair and he would love to be with Louisa but he doesn't want to hold her back from living a life that she could live with like a typical person. Um, so he thinks a life without her would just be miserable and he doesn't think it's worth living at all. This is obviously horrible for Louisa and she's very devastated but um, she realizes that she just needs to be there for him. So the few, few weeks go by and the time's up for Will. And Will and his parents and Louisa are all there for the time that he wants to pass away. And finally, after those four weeks, he does end up passing away. And he leaves Louisa like this letter just telling her that he wants her to live this life like to the best she can with nothing holding her back. And that's pretty much the end of the film. So this film um, shows a great example of someone with quadriplegia, which means no function in your legs or arms which he has a little bit, but they state that in the film. And I think the purpose of portraying his disability in this film shows the struggles of someone with a spinal cord in injury and that is bound to their chair for the rest of their life with no chance of getting better. They also show, like, they state how he will not be getting better. Like, he will only stay, like, where he's at. He can't, like, get his function back. 
Um, I believe this film does a great job portraying the disability. I think they go into great detail about the disability and how it affects him both like internally and externally. Um, they explain everything really well and it seems like very accurately. Um, some issues faced, Will faced a lot of different issues that they addressed in the film. Um, he had just issues of being able to feed himself, he couldn't do that, he couldn't dress himself, he couldn't even like move himself in bed, he needed the help for all those things. He also faced issues of the embarrassment of being in public, he had a lot of like anxiety about being in public and just hated people seeing him looking like that. And lastly, he also faced issues of just being able to have a normal relationship and like falling in love with a woman. He can never have everything that a typical person would have in a relationship. Overall, I think this movie is a realistic, raw example of someone with a debilitating disability. I think a lot of people probably could relate to the story of what it's like to be disabled in this way. And it's definitely very hard. And I think this shows how hard it is and like more realistic way of what it would be like. Overall, I think this movie taught me a lot about what it would be like for someone with a physical disability like quadriplegia. This film shows both the external and internal struggles of someone with a disability that they face on a day-to-day -day basis. Although I would wish that this film could end off on a happy note of him finding a way to overcome his disability, but that isn't always the way. Like, it is not always a happy ending in real life and people do face these hardships a lot and these disabilities are always happy endings. Um, and after doing some further research on what quadriplegia is, I've seen that this film does represent it very well and after looking at some articles, the information there and in the film are pretty identical, which I thought was cool that this film does a great job explaining the disability and all of the issues that come with the disability. So yeah, that was my film.